This video will show you a very efficient process for setting up shares and beams model just as the bar shown here. In our case, we start from a geometry and the first step we have to do is to make sure that we have imprints on the geometry so we have the connections between the faces. This is just imprints, so no real connection of the geometry, just, you know, marking the, the, the faces. So once this has been done, we can move on to creating the mesh on this part. We are now opening the mechanical model for the simulation and when we do that we basically import the geometry from the geometry module into the ANSYS mechanical and the next part is about setting the, the algorithms for the meshing as well as minimum and maximum size for the mesh. Once this has been done we can start meshing the entire model and this will be done in a parallel way meaning that all faces are not meshed sequentially but leveraging all cores you have on your machine in a parallel way. Once the mesh has been created, we can take a look at the connections between the faces and the red color here indicates that all faces are in effectively independent of each other. We now need to reconnect them and we are going to do that through an automated mesh connection tool and here we'll see that after the mesh connection has been performed, the edges will turn to triple, multiple edges wherever there are overlapping faces. So basically here we connect the mesh between the faces to have coincident nodes all over the place. Now let's say we would want to add some beam structure to this barge model. We can do that from the project page here, adding the beams into the model. And we first start by meshing the structures here independently of the other. And then we'll bring the two together by adding a new system and linking the models from each, the, the shell models and the beam models into a global one. So the link between the two models is simply done here at the project level with those blue lines going to the full system. And when we open the full system, we can now see that we have both geometries, the one of the barge and the one of the beam truss that is in the upper right corner here. Now we want to merge them and we can use here another operation which is node merging, which in the case of coincident nodes will allow us to to fuse those nodes together. So we are just selecting one geometry as the master, the other one as the slave. So in this case, the master is the beam truss, the slave is the barge itself. And we just connect those nodes and we check that all nodes are properly connected. And we can do that by performing a model analysis. And we will see from the first mode that in this case, we have a, a mode on the beam truss, but that they are, it is indeed connected to the full barge model. If we look, for example, at the first mode of vibration, which is the one you see now on your screen. That shows, you know, a very simple process that goes from geometry to simulation in a very efficient way for seam structures. Thank you for listening to us. Visit, please visit ansys.com if you need more details.